Hello and welcome to Quirky Cat Crafts. This is Sherry. Okay, you guys, I'm getting ready to glue this one. This is the second box. Um, that's a custom order. So, um, it is a robot theme, but it's really more primarily like the robotic arms. But hmm, there aren't a whole lot of stamps or stickers that pertain to that. So, um, I did have my sister-in-law cut out a vinyl robotic arm and I put his name on the line, Samuel, and I tried to line up the S to make it look like the arm was putting the S in place. And then after the fact, the recipient asked to have the last name added, which if I'd have known that beforehand, I would have placed this higher up on the mirror, but I had to squeeze his name in because I can't move this. It's permanent. Once it's stuck, it's stuck. So, but I think it works. Um, I added in these two tiles that are, um, metallic cardstock, um, glued down to a piece of chipboard. And then I just stamped with archival ink and I'm just going to leave them plain because without them, it was a lot of filler. I mean, it, too much filler. And, um, so I added those in, so I'm pretty happy about that. And so, um, yeah, yellow, blue, and green were the colors requested. And so then I've got, you know, some tools and some tool charms. And then I've got words that say uh, create, inspire, um, journey, and success. And then I do have a couple of stickers, robot stickers, underneath glass cabochons. I did those on silver glitter paper and after the fact I kind of wish I would have done the metallic instead but too late now um so it just says robots and then there's a cat and dog robot um a screw and a gear and then two more little robots down here and then I've got some hodgepodge like gear stamps in there and then the rest are just te various different textured fillers um all of the filler was already in my stash so that saved me quite a bit of time. All right, so we're going to start at the bottom, work our way up, and we're going to start in the middle and work our way out. So, but I'm going to slide these off to the sides and try and keep them in order. And some trimming is probably going to have to happen as I'm gluing because space tends to go away for some reason. During the gluing process. I don't know why that is. But it does. I'm already messed up. What happened? This goes over here. Holy macaroni. How did this happen? How did I get messed up already? really don't know. Seriously, you guys. All right, we're going to put it back together so I can figure out where I went wrong. Seriously. I mean, seriously, you guys. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay. All right. It's been a long day. It's been a long weekend. Um, I've really been pushing myself to um, get these done so that I can get them in the mail tomorrow, but I don't know that that's going to happen because I think I want to give the glue time to dry. Before I package them up. So, um, I didn't do the paper trick like I did with the astronaut box because it wasn't coming out right anyway. So, in the interest of saving time, oops. I just did it 
directly on the box. I don't usually do it this way, but there you go. I was hoping to have these all done so I could start sorting all the brads that I got, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think by the time I have this glued, because it's quarter to two in the morning on Sunday, and of course I work tomorrow, um, I think by the time it's all said and done, I'll have to just go down and eat my eat my dinner and call it a day. I'm just giving the mirror a little bit of a rub down. Trying to get my fingerprints off of it. Of course I'm gonna put fingerprints right back on it when I glue it down, but all right. Let us begin. And the middle. One, two, three, four, five. There's the middle. So, I got my laundry done. And my kitchen cleaned up. It's a trash day tomorrow. I need to get that. It's partially gathered. I need to get the upstairs trash. But, I was like, I'll do that before I go down to eat. And then while I'm heating up my leftover chicken and white rice and creamy mushroom soup, I will run it all down to the curb. So, that's my plan for the rest of the day. Um, work actually called me today, I don't know, about 10.30, and wanted to know if I could fill in on another lane today but I hadn't slept yet and that's a five hours out five hours back and I just didn't feel like that was a good idea to try and run on no sleep so and I needed to get these done anyway. Sure could have used the extra miles though. Because I only worked, what, two days last week? So. So, I am going to leave a little bit of space between the tiles. But for these, I'm putting them right up against the mirror. Because I don't want a gap there. Because it's supposed to be like part of the mirror. Okay. But anyway, so yeah, so I couldn't couldn't do that run. Anyway, and I just realized I did not hear from. Sorry about my head. Roger, who feeds the cats on the dag nabbit on the days that I don't. And he didn't text me today to tell me who he saw. So that's a little concerning. I don't know, you guys. Now I'm looking at this one thinking I may not want to leave spaces. I don't have a whole lot of space to work with anyway. I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have them touching or almost touching. So. Anyway. I don't think he texted me. I don't remember seeing a text from him. Gosh darn it. 
with the dropsies. I don't know what is going on. No, I do want to leave a little bit of space. Not a lot of space, but just a little bit of space. I scooch it over. Sorry about my head. Anyway, I don't know why I don't seem to have much to say anymore. I don't know, this is going to be too big. Oh, let's see. Does this fit better? Yes. Make a slide, throw that over, come on. Paper. Yeah, that's better. Nope, I need to go a little bit wider for that. So I'm pull that out and get this glued down. I take a little bit off of this one. Ouch. Wow, that's crooked. <laughs> Garfield's over on the futon. I can hear him snoring. A little bit of a wider one. Come here. I don't have a lot to say, you guys, so I may not bring you along for the whole gluing. Might just uh, bring you back for the um, final reveal. Kind of what I'm thinking. But I'll get this part glued and then I'll and then I'll let you go. These particular fillers right here are um stencil. I used them on the Halloween gnome mosaic, but I did different colors, but this is just I did just gosh darn it, silver. And um so as you can see, I can cut it down to fit where I need it to fit. So anyway, I'm going to get this side glued and then I'll let you guys go. 
Everybody ready for Christmas? I don't really do Christmas shopping because nieces and nephews and great nieces and great nephews and I have no idea what they want or need and so they just get money. Or the parents get money in the case of the babies and of course people are like, but you don't even know if they're getting them anything or saying this is from your Aunt Sherry, but I don't worry about it. It's just here's the money, do with it what you will. Sorry about my head. So I don't have any shopping to do. It used to be my job growing up to um, wrap the Christmas presents. My mom used to put them all in boxes and tape the boxes shut. And then um, my job was to wrap them and she'd put a little sticky note on it of who it needed to go to and who it was from. So I enjoyed it. I was pretty good at it. So, and the way that I found out that Santa didn't exist, sorry, spoiler alert, if there's still believers on here, but, uh, I had gotten some uh, hair combs, like the kind that you would just pull your hair up off to, to the side. and um, They didn't work. They didn't hold my hair up. So I told my mom that, and she said, okay, I'll have to return them and get you something else. And I was like, I thought they came from Santa Claus. And then... She was kind of like, oops. I guess if she hadn't, if she'd been thinking, she could have been like, well, yeah, but Santa gave me the receipt so I can return them if they didn't work. I can take them to a store and someone else can use them. And, but that was how I found out. So. Anyway. And, I don't know, my family just doesn't really, since both my parents have passed, and my little brother owns two bars, so he works 365 days a year. And my sister-in-law works at a casino, and of course they're open. So, we just, I go have dinner with my stepmother, and then we swing by my older brothers, and I drop off the cash for the niece and nephew, and then I come back home. That's my Christmas. But it's okay. Never had kids, so I never had that. I don't know. Parents out there, you tell me, was it stressful or did you love doing it? You know, setting up the tree and stuffing the stockings and all that. I think I would have enjoyed it. Used to have a neighbor that the way they did theirs was um, like they didn't even set up their tree. And then after the kids went to bed on Christmas Eve, they would decorate the tree and put out all the presents and what they said to the kids was that 
that Santa Claus and his elves came and decorated the tree. So that was there. How they did it. So guess everybody has their own methods. Oops. All right. So this is why it's so good to do the filler tiles on a clay that is cuttable. Because then you have um, room to work with. So and you can trim it down. Come here. And this was, gosh darn it, with the dropsies, you guys. Seriously. I don't know. This is just some kind of a metal finding. I thought it kind of said robot a little bit. So, I'm going to go over here. And these little gaps, I'm going to do um, ball chain. What is missing out of there? Wow. I have to cut a bigger piece. I don't know what happened there. And now I can tell this is not big enough. Guess I shouldn't have done those till the end. Okay. I need a skinnier piece of yellow. Do I have a... And I'll leave that little strip and I'll do ball chain in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. All right. So I need piece of the black there and a piece of the black there. Let's see what I've got. Would have worked, but the edge crumbled. It's okay. I'll make a new one. Is this boring for you guys? Sorry if it is. But I figure if it is, you'll just turn it off, right? That's your option. So when I go to sort those, uh, all those brads that I got from the lady, I'm going to do two things because the ones that are theme specific like the sports balls, the trees, the leaves, hearts and stars, that kind of stuff. Um, those all go... Wow. I am so off on that one. Let's try this again. Pay attention, Sherry. Um... So I'm going to do two rounds of sorting. The first round will be theme specific and, and then just random shapes. And then I'll, because they go in different storage containers. Um, the ones that are themed, like the sports ones will go in with 
all of my sports buttons and charms and whatnot. So there we go. That's better. And then I need a pretty long strip for in here. No. It's a little too small. Um. Yeah, so. So it'll be kind of a two-step process on the organizing. Oh, don't don't fall on the floor. Oh, need to take a little more off. There we go. A little gap there, a little gap there, a little gap there, a little gap there, a little gap there. This is very gappy. No pun intended. I can do a little strip of this in there. Yep, that fits perfect. I probably had that cut for there to begin with. Because I try not to do, if I slide this over, so it'd be ball chain, ball chain, I don't know. Anyway, I'll come back and fill in the little gaps at the end. All right, you guys, so that's it for right now. Um, I just wanted to show you guys where I was at. So um, once I get it all glued and the box is put together, I will um, come back on and show you the final, final reveal. I am sorry, you guys. I really don't know what is going on with me here lately. It's like I can't hold a thought in my head. I can't hold things in my hands. I keep dropping stuff. And I'm just all over the place. I don't know. I don't like it. It's bugging me. There we go. I like that in there. That's the, the good thing about the filler. See, look. Might do a little strip of yellow in there. Cut down a piece. I want a piece that's the same height. It's a little too. I have to take a little bit off of it. Let's see. And the yellow clay is, yeah, crumbly. See. The yellow clay doesn't trim as well. We'll try once more, and if it works, great. And if it doesn't, we'll move on to something else. Sometimes you can heat up the clay, like with the heat gun, or throw it back in the oven. Yeah, it's just disintegrating on me. And um, get it to soften up to the point where you can um, trim it without it disintegrating. But generally speaking, that's a Sculpey, Sculpey 3. So, as you saw, it just disintegrates. So... Anyway, all right, you guys, that's it for now. I'm going to get off of here and finish gluing this. And next video will be the final reveal for this one and the astronaut box. But I'll do them as two separate videos because, I don't know, someday I might sit down and create playlists where uh, all the videos that pertain to one project will be in that playlist. So I'm going to do them separate. I know you didn't need to know that, but I told you anyway. So there you go. All right, you guys, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching.